Welcome to Dungeons Gate. We're introducing an RPG each month. This month, it's Star Wars. Star Wars is deeply embedded in the cultural psyche of many of us because of its epic storytelling and rich imaginative universe. So it makes the perfect franchise to use as a basis for role-playing. In this episode, I'm excited to introduce you to the Star Wars RPGs from Fantasy Flight Games. We're going to take a look inside what's in the beginner box, and in part two, we'll learn more about how to play. Fantasy Flight Games has three flavors of Star Wars for you. Force and Destiny, Edge of the Empire, and Age of Rebellion. Force and Destiny is all about ancient weapons and kooky religions, as in the Force and Jedi stuff. Edge of the Empire is all about having a good blaster at your side, smuggling, avoiding the huts, and the Age of Rebellion is all about battles between the Empire and the Rebels, stormtroopers, space battles, ion cannons, and so on. Each has its own unique vibe, but they're all using the same basic set of rules and can be played individually, or you can mix and match and create your own crossover adventures. There are other differences in the details of what ships, weapons, and special career options are possible. The great thing is, you can start with the version that you gravitate to, and then add on as you expand your adventure. The Star Wars role-playing games set up like most role-playing games. There's a game master who controls the worlds, the bad guys, the non-playing characters, and keeps the story moving along, adjudicating the rules, solving problems, answering questions, and so on. Then there are usually several players, each controlling the actions of their character as they progress through the story. Before we get too far into how to play, let's take a look inside one of the beginner sets and see what they've included. Then we'll introduce some of the things that make the Star Wars RPG different from the other role-playing games in part two. Okay, so let's see what's inside one of these beginner game boxes for the Star Wars RPG. We got a set of dice. So yeah, it looks like we've got everything we would need. And we've got um, kind of an introduction to what is in this and what is the uh, what is a role-playing game. Uh, so you got some examples of play. Um, and it looks like a nice uh, Star Wars intro to this adventure game is included. That's pretty cool. Um, okay, we've got some pre-generated character folios. Got a spy, an ace, engineer, and a soldier. Looks like these are more than just a character sheet. You've got a description of, kind of what is on the character sheet, what it all means and uh, talent tree kind of walks you through career progression for your character backstory for who vindry is that's kind of a, more than more in depth than just a character sheet uh, you've got the adventure book so this is all about the adventure that's included and a bit of how to as well as the adventure itself And the rule book. So you've got a bit of an abbreviated version of the larger core rule book that is for this game. Um, but a nice intro to how to play and has everything you need to play the adventure in this beginner game. And a nice touch, you've got um, a very cool map to use, double-sided looks like, for different locations in this beginner game, and tokens to use for those maps. Yeah, very nice. And that's all that's uh, in the beginner game. Looks like a great beginner set to, uh, to get you started in play. So that's what's inside the beginner box, and like I said, it's a great way to get started playing the Star Wars role-playing game. Join us in part two, and we'll dig into more about how to play the game, and what sets it apart from other role-playing games. Join us again at Dungeons Gate as we explore some of the new and fun role-playing games, board games, or even cool books in science fiction and fantasy. And until next time, be, make, have, have fun.